Hi everyone, welcome back to my class. Students, in this session, you will understand about the entire structure of the human male reproductive organ. You will understand about the various parts and its functions. You will also understand about how the sperms are being produced in the human male reproductive organ and what is helping the sperms to get entered into the human female reproductive organ. So these are some of the highlights of this session. So let's begin to understand with the various parts. So let's begin with the first part. The first and the important part of the human male reproductive system is the testis. You can observe an oval like structure here. So this oval like structure is called as the testis. Why it is important? Because it produces the male sex cells. What are the male sex cells called as? It is called as the sperms. So the sperms are released inside the testis. Clear? So moving to the next part which is called as the scrotum. This region you can observe. So it is a sac like structure. Scrotum is a sac like structure. It is holding the testis. You can observe the testis is present inside the scrotum. So the scrotum is a sac like structure. Clear? So the next part is the vas difference. You can observe here. So this vas difference is actually it is a tube like structure. It is helping to pass the sperms. And moving to the next part which is called as epididymis. So this epididymis, it is also a tube-like structure. It is actually a coiled tube-like structure. Epididymis is a coiled tube-like structure. It is connected to the testis. You can observe, see, there is a coil-like structure. So it is attached to the testis. So this coiled tube-like structure, we call it as epididymis. Clear? So moving to the next part which is called as the sperm duct, here you can observe the sperm duct is a duct where it helps in passing the sperms, clear. So the next part is the urethra, so the next part here I will mention, so it is the urethra, so this tube can you observe, so this tube is called as the urethra. So this urethra, it has the connection. So it actually arises from the vast difference from this region. Can you observe the tube which is emerging from this region? So this urethra, it actually emerges from the vast difference and then it connected to urinary bladder. So this is the urinary bladder. Can you observe a brown color structure here? So this is the urinary bladder. So this urinary bladder, it consists of urine. Okay, the vast difference is having a tube like structure. So it is connected to the urinary bladder and from the urinary bladder again this tube emerges towards the penis. So this tube like structure is called as the urethra. Clear? It is called as urethra. So moving to the next part which is called as the penis. See penis is also a very important organ. It is helping to discharge the urine as well as the sperms. So it is actually an external part which is present outside the body. So we will understand the functions of all these structure now in detail. See apart from these structure there are some glands which are present in the human male reproductive system. So these glands also help in performing some important functions in the human male reproductive system. See some of the glands are the first one is the prostate gland. The first gland is the prostate gland and the second one is the seminal vesicle and third one is the cowper's gland. So these are the three important glands which help in performing or adding some secretions when the sperm is moving from the testis till the penis. So we will understand this in detail now. So let's begin to understand one by one now in detail. So then let us start from the testis. This region we call it as testis. Correct? So testis is the most important organ which produces the sex cells. What is the sex cells produced by the testis? It is called as the sperms. Correct? So the sperms are being produced by the testis. See for the sexual reproduction to happen, the sperms has to fuse with the eggs. Correct? I hope you all have remembered these topics I have explained you in the previous session. The sperms has to meet the egg. Then only the sexual reproduction takes place. So it is very important for the testis to produce the sperms. It is the male sex cells. 
Correct. And also you have to understand when I talk about the testes, see there are two testes in the human male reproductive system. We call it as testicles. See one on the right hand side and another on the left hand side. So this is also called as the testis. See there are two testes, we call it as testicles. Okay, so what is the role of testis? It produces the sex cells which is called as the sperm. See apart from the sperm, this testis also produces the one more important hormone which is called as the testosterone. See testosterone is a very important hormone which is secreted by the testis. Then what is the function of testosterone? Testosterone helps in the development of secondary sexual characters. If the human male has to develop his secondary sexual characters, so it is very important for the testis to release this hormone called as testosterone. See what are the examples for the secondary sexual characters? Growth of, growth of facial hairs, the enlargement of the testis, and the broadening of the chest region correct so these are some of the secondary sexual characters that we can see in the human male correct so now as we all came to know that the testis produces the sperms correct so we came to know that so this testis it produces the sperms so what is there inside the testis to produce the sperms you all know that it is producing is producing the sperms correct so what actually is present inside the testes which is making the testes to produce the sperms. So testes consists of many coiled tube like structure which are lined by the epithelium and these epithelium it will divide. See so this epithelium it divide as the division of the epithelium the sperms are being formed. How the sperms are being formed? See the testis consists of many coiled tube like structures correct. So these coiled tube like structures they are lined by the cells of the epithelium correct. So it is lined by the epithelium. See when this epithelium when it divide when the epithelium divide what happen as the division of epithelium the sperms are being produced. The sperms are being produced as the epithelium tissues or the epithelium cells divide. Correct. Clear? So the next part is the scrotum. You can observe the scrotum here. See this scrotum, it is an extension of the abdominal cavity. See if this is your abdomen, from your abdomen the scrotum is been extended. See the scrotum is extended. See it is an extension of the abdominal cavity. What does this scrotum contains? This scrotum it contains the testis inside. So to carry the testis the scrotum is present. Scrotum it just holds the testis. Okay. So now one more question is why do human male need an organ separately outside the abdomen? See we are studying about some of the organs which are present inside the human male reproductive system. Correct. For example see the testis, the vast difference, epididymis, penis and the sperm duct. So now my question is why do the human male need a separate organ? This is a separate organ okay which is present outside the abdomen to hold the testis. See, it is because the testis which is present inside the scrotum it releases the male sex cells called as sperms correct and for the production of the sperms for the production of the sperms the temperature need is very low. If the sperms has to be produced, the temperature required for the production of the sperms is very low. Correct. Suppose if the testis is present inside the abdomen, then what would be the temperature of the testis? Yes, your guess is correct. See the temperature of the testis is same as the body temperature. So in such case what happened? For the testes, it is difficult to produce the sperms. Why? Because for the testes, it need very less temperature for the production of the sperms. If the sperms has to be produced, the testes need the lower temperature. Okay. So that is the reason an external cavity, this external cavity called as the scrotum is found outside. Clear? So scrotum, it helps in protecting the testes 
and it also help in maintaining the lower temperature for the production of sperms so there are two functions for the scrotum the first one is it is protecting the testis and second one is it is providing the lower temperature so the scrotum is providing the lower temperature clear so moving to the next part which is called as the epididymis so the next part is the epididymis here you can observe epididymis is a complex tube like structure as i told you see it is a complex tube like structure it stores the sperms and it also help in passing the sperms see this testis see this testis it contain the sperms correct so this sperms again now it gets stored in the epididymis which is a coil tube like structure this epididymis it helps in storing the sperms and it also help in passing the sperms to the tube which is called as a sperm duct correct the sperm produced by the testis will be passed to the epididymis and this epididymis what it will do it will actually stores the sperms and then it sends out from this region it sends out correct so why it has to send out because when there is a sexual act between a male and female what happen the sperms will be moving out through this tube so for the movement of the sperms this epididymis is helping clear so the next part is the vas deferens so what is the vas deferens vas deferens is a tube like structure correct it is emerging from the lower part of the epididymis see if you observe the epididymis see it is looking like this epididymis is looking like this correct so from the lower part of the epididymis you can observe there is a tube like structure which is emerging and this tube like structure is called as the vas deferens clear so it opens into a ejaculatory duct what is meant by ejaculating sending something outside so what it is sending it is sending the sperms outside okay so this vas deferens it is a tube like structure which is present which is extending from the lower part of the epididymis correct it opens to the ejaculatory duct this duct which is coming out this duct we call it as ejaculatory duct so this duct will help in carrying the sperms through the urethra you all know this region is called as urethra it's pipe like structure which is present inside the penis we call it as urethra clear so the next let us understand the next part which is called as the penis so this is the penis now so this is the muscular copulatory organ see when i say muscular why it is because the penis is made up of muscles see when i say copulatory organ why because see what is meant by copulatory see copulatory means two bodies are mating if two bodies are connecting to each other we call it as copulation so this organ which is called as the penis will help in joining two bodies joining the male body with the female body hence it is called as muscular copulatory organ clear so why it is important for the penis to join the female body it is because see if the fertilization has to takes place you know what is fertilization correct so fertilization is the fusion of male and female gamete if the male and female gamete has to fuse then there should be a connection between a male and female so that connection will be taken place with the help of the penis so the main function of the penis is to discharge the sperms so this penis it discharges the sperm when there is fusion so the next part is the urethra so the next part is the urethra so this urethra is it is a common passage to pass the urine as well as the sperm where is the urine urine is present in the urinary bladder correct and the sperms are present in the testis see when the sperms has to pass then it will pass through the urethra and then when the urine has to pass it also has to pass to pass through urethra so this urethra this tube like structure which is present inside the penis see this urethra it acts as a common passage to pass the urine from the urinary bladder and to pass the sperms from the testis clear so this is all about the functions of the different parts of the human male reproductive organ so now 
let us understand some of the glands which are present in the human male reproductive organ and their functions the first gland which is called as the prostate gland the first gland is called as the prostate gland let us understand the prostate gland function this prostate gland it produces the milky fluid prostate gland it produces the milky fluid which helps in sperm's mobility see when i say mobility the sperms i hope you all know the structure of sperm okay the sperms will move they have the mobility so for the sperms which is been produced by the testes to move easily in order to move the sperms easily the prostate gland produces the milky fluid this fluid will actually help in the easy movement of the sperms clear so the next one is the seminal vesicle see seminal vesicle also play a very important role so this seminal vesicle gland it produces a viscous fluid see when i say viscous it somewhat it is somewhat jelly like structure so what is the importance of this viscous fluid so this viscous fluid also help in the sperm's mobility especially in the female region that is in the female body see when the sperms are released in the female body when the sperms are been released in the female body the sperms has to travel to the fallopian tube why to reach the egg you know where the sperms are been released it is released in the vagina correct so when the sperms are been released in the vagina the sperms will travel to the fallopian tube to reach to meet the egg correct so inside the female body when the sperm has to travel so this viscous fluid which is been secreted by the seminal vesicle will actually help the sperm's mobility if the sperm has to reach the fallopian tube this viscous fluid which is been released by the seminal vesicle will help in the movement of the sperm i hope you have clearly understood and another important thing that the female reproductive system is generally acidic in medium for, but for the sperms to be alive in the female reproductive system it need an alkaline medium what is meant by alkaline medium alkaline means it is neither acidic nor basic okay if the sperms has to be alive in the that mean inside the female reproductive body it need the alkaline medium so this alkaline medium is also been it has been uh, uh, created by addition of the viscous fluid which is realized by the seminal vesicle i hope you have understood and the last gland is the cowper's gland okay the last one is the cowper's gland so what is the role of cowper's gland the cowper's gland it will secrete a mucus cowper's gland it secretes a mucus so this mucus will actually lubricate the female passage that means see when there is a sexual act when there is a mating what happen this penis will be inserted inside the female reproductive organ called as vagina so when it is inserted inside a female passage called vagina so this penis it releases the sperms correct it releases the sperms inside the vagina so in order to insert this penis in order to insert the penis inside the vagina it is important to know that the vagina should be lubricated it should be well lubricated so in order to lubricate the cowper's gland releases the mucus it is also a jelly like substance which has been produced by the cowper's gland so this cowper's gland it secretes the mucus to lubricate the female passage which is called as vagina clear so these are some of the glands which help uh, in adding their secretions the easy movement of the sperms inside the female body i hope you all have understood the purpose of male reproductive system and the different parts present in it and its functions clear clear so if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment section i will be answering for your questions that's all for this session i'm signing off thank you